Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Nate. Today we are going to be learning how to create a PowerPoint presentation and I will teach you from start to finish. So I'd like you to pay attention and learn every details and learn everything I'm going to be explaining in this class in details. Now the first thing is for us to launch the PowerPoint application. To do that, you scroll down to select your start button and you tap the word power. You see the PowerPoint icon here. So I have, I have two different PowerPoint applications on my computer system. I'm going to be using the PowerPoint 2007. So please, I'm sure that on your computer, you most likely will have Microsoft 2013 or Microsoft 2010 or Microsoft 2016, whichever one you have on your computer system is fine. Just follow through this process and you'll be able to create a presentation yourself using the Microsoft PowerPoint application. First thing I'd like to say is that Microsoft PowerPoint is not like Microsoft Word that works with a plain background. With Microsoft PowerPoint, you are expected to have very beautiful background because the essence of Microsoft PowerPoint is to carry your viewers or your audience along. So if you are a speaker, if you are having a presentation, or if you are teaching, or if you are training anybody, it's always good for you to use a PowerPoint slide to illustrate. That is why when you go to churches, churches use PowerPoint slide to explain, to show the Bible verses, to show um, the lyrics of whatever song that the choir are singing, to show pictures whenever the pastor is teaching. So PowerPoint slide is very effective for illustration. And for that, you need your slide to be as beautiful as possible. And I know that for children, you do presentation in your class. So sometimes your teacher can say, okay, um, Tolu, please come and do a presentation for us on division of labor. Or your teacher can say, in our next class, everybody is going to do a presentation for me on elections in Nigeria. And for you to do that, you need a presentation or you need slides to make that very, very interesting so today we are going to learn how to use the powerpoint slide to do all of these things and i believe that you have all launched the powerpoint application on your computer system so the next thing i want us to do is to add design design represents background so i'm just going to click design menu here so there are different designs here i'm going to use a simple design So I like this design. So I am just going to type. So what are we going to talk about? Let's talk about animals in the world. Animals in the world. By Nathaniel. So I'm the author. So I'll just put my name, Nathaniel Adoy. So if you're having a class presentation, you can do this. Okay. So this is my first page. Now I want to put the image of an animal or different animals. So don't forget, if you are using PowerPoint, you need a lot of pictures. So it's either you have downloaded your pictures already or your computer is connected to the internet and you are downloading your pictures while you are working, whichever. I would advise that it's better you download, you have all your images downloaded already before you start. But for this class, I'm going to be downloading on the spot. So here I want to put pictures of different animals. So I'm going to right click and say, okay, so first let me go and download the image. 
So to download, I need to go to the internet, you know that. Now first, your computer has to be connected to the internet before you can go to the internet. My computer is connected to the internet. With this icon, it shows that it connected to a network, to the internet. Now you can have, have your mom or your dad or your uncle or an adult around you to help you connect your computer to the internet and assist you through this process. So now I want to download the pictures of animals here now you also need the internet browser on your computer system to be able to use the internet and there are different internet browsers it's either you are using mozilla firefox you are using google chrome you are using microsoft edge you are using opera mini you are using uc browser i like to use Micros Google Chrome. So to use Google Chrome, I could just click my start button and type the word Chrome. Now you can see Google Chrome. This is the icon for Google Chrome. So I'll just select Google Chrome and then I can select any of these icons. Then I can just type animals in the word. Now I'll just click images and then i'll have different animals so i like this image i like this particular image so i'll right click and then i'll save the image to my computer oh this image is a web image so i can't use this image it will show so let me look for another image that is a jpeg image so i'll say save you would know if it's a jpeg image this is showing avif file i don't want avif file i want jpeg once you click save okay so this is jpeg you can see here jpeg but i don't like this particular image because it's not sharp enough so always use sharp images for your work Okay, so this is JPEG and it's sharp enough. So I'm gonna download this. But let me try, I think I like this. I like this. This is showing the atlas and you can see the different animals on the atlas. So let me, I pray this is a JPEG image. Yes, so this is a JPEG image. So I'll just say animals in the world. So let me quickly insert that to my slide so i would go to insert i'll go to pictures then i'll check my download file yes great so i can increase don't forget anytime you want to increase an image always increase from the side So I can even bring this to the top of the image here. First, I, I want to bring this to front of text. So I'll right click on this. I'll just say bring to front. So once I take it to the front, it will show. But I will need to change this color first so that it can be very visible. Yes, I've changed to blue color. So now the reason why I, I did bring forward for this text is, if I don't do that, this information, you won't see this information. I think I love to change this color again because the blue, I'm not sure I really like the blue color. Let's try purple. No, purple is not really um, we might have to use the blue color but let's try other colors and see let's try yellow no red uh, are we good with red
I think the blue color is fine. Maybe we just need to change the font to a better font. So let's use area black, but let's reduce the font size from 44. Let's reduce to 40. Let's still reduce to, yes, I think this is fine. So I loved my first page of my slide. So the next thing is to insert a new slide. So I'll just click insert a new slide. So here I can now say, there are different types of animals. There are different types of animals. I can change this color to blue. Let's just maintain blue throughout. So here we can say wild animals. We can say and um, domestic animals. We can say wild animals do not live with people. Domestic animals live with people i think this is fine for my second slide then my third slide i would say examples of wild animals so first i'm going to put the lion Let me get the image of the lion. So I will just go to my Google again and then I'll type lion. I like to use the image of the lion. Yes, this is a lion. How many of you can roar like a lion? Roar like a lion. So I'm trying to look for a beautiful lion. Or a bold lion instead. Lion are bold animals. So I like to use this image of the two lions. So I'll come to my slide and then I'll go to insert because I want to add image. And then, good. I have two lions already. Good. Then I want another animal. I'll say new slide. I can say uh, I can say, what animal, what animal, please suggest to me, what animal, what animal, what animal, let's say shark. Let's say shark. Shark is an aquatic animal. I, I really do not want to do so much here because of time so i'm just going to do two wild animals and two domestic animals so that you can practice the rest on your own so i am not using that image because it is a it is not a jpeg image so let's see if this is jpeg so this is a jpeg image then i'll go back to my slide i'll go to pictures and then I'll choose this 
and I'm fine with this. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to work with the domestic animals. New slide. I'll just see examples of domestic animals. So the first one is everybody likes dog. I will just say dog. Okay, so not everybody likes dog, but if you are asked to mention a domestic animal, first thing that will come to a lot of people's mind is dog. So I'll just go and insert the picture of a dog because I have downloaded it. Don't forget, always enlarge image from the edges. Don't increase the size from the top or the bottom. If you do that, it would spoil the shape of the image. Then the next domestic animal is goat. So I am using the dog and the goat. So let me download the image of the goat. Let me save this image. This is also a JPEG image, so I'm okay with it. We'll go to insert picture. We choose goat and we're good. So I am actually working with a six slide presentation. So my first slide, Animals in the World by Nathaniel Adoy. The next one, there are different types of animals, wild animals, domestic animals. Wild animals do not live with people. Domestic animals live with people. Examples of wild animals, lion, shark. Examples of domestic animals, this is a dog. And this is a goat. So I think I want to just stay on these slides that we have. So already we have learned how to insert images. We have also learned how to use designs to choose the backgrounds that we want. The next thing I want to teach us is how to add animations. Now as a slide, slide works with animations. So I could choose any of these animations. Yes, I can move to the next one. I can select any animation here. Now, the work of the animation is to make your slides come show in a beautifully animated way. So, I'm going to make it slow, not fast. Slow. Yes. I'm also going to make this slow. I am also going to make this slow. Not fast. Slow. So I'm adding different animations to what we have. So I have an animation for this slide. I also have one for this slide. I also have one for this slide. I also have one for this slide. So all the slides have animations. Now, don't forget, for PowerPoint presentation, the pages of a presentation is called slide. So this is slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six. Unlike Microsoft Word document that we have page one, page two, page three, for PowerPoint, we don't use pages, we use slides. And don't forget that it is easy to add animation to any of your slides. So I have had the first animation. This is what I used, it is called dissolved. Then the second slide I used Okay, I'm going to change it. So I use this. The third slide, I use a different animation, but I ensure that all the animations are quite slow. So you can see. Now, how do you pre preview your animation? You can easily go to slideshow and then you see from the beginning. So this is my first slide, Animals in the World by Nathaniel Adoy. I can move to the second slide. There are different types of animals 
in the world, there is wild animals and we have domestic animals. Wild animals do not live with people. Domestic animals live with people. The next slide, examples of wild animals, you can see the picture of lion. The next one, you can see the picture of the shark. The next one, you can see the picture of the dog. And the next slide, you can see the picture of the goat. It is quite easy to create a slide presentation. It is quite easy to create a slide presentation. Now, before we go, there's another thing I want to quickly explain. Now, we have learned about design. We've learned about animation. Now, there's something I want to show us about the um, about our animations. So, you know, the initial thing was that I actually did the animation in such a way that once I go to slideshow, if I say show from the beginning, I need to use my mouse to move to the next slide, to the next slide, to the next slide, to the next slide, to the next slide. I can also set it in such a way that I don't have to use my mouse click or the keyboard to move to the next slide. I can do it in such a way that my slide can move automatically, very easy. I'll just go back to animation. Here, I will remove it from on mouse click and then I'm going to set it to 5, 5 seconds. So I will say this slide should move to the next slide automatically after 5 seconds. I'll go to the next slide, I'll remove on mouse click, I'll click automatically move after 5 seconds. I would also move to the next slide, I would say automatically move to the next slide after 5 seconds. I'll move to the next slide, I would say automatically move after next to next slide after 5 seconds. I'll do the same thing for this one. I will say it should move to the next slide automatically after five seconds. I've done that for first slide. I've done that for the sixth slide. I've done that for the fourth slide. I've not done that for the third slide. So I'll do that for the third slide. The first slide, I've not done that. So I'll do that for the first slide. So this is quite easy actually. If there is any place you don't understand, you can always re, re, you can pause this video and um, rewind the video to see. You can replay rather. So I have added all of the slide I've given them to the automatic transition. So now let's go and see from slideshow. So I'll go to slideshow. I'll say from the beginning. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. You can see it has moved. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's moving. One, two, three, four, five. I'm showing you my two hands to let you know I'm not controlling it. One, two, three, four, five. So basically, this is how to create a proper slide presentation. I hope you love this video. If you love this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel. See you in our next class. Bye for now.